Nigeria's sports minister, Tami Danagogo, will meet with President Gulag Jonathan today as FIFA extends deadline to July 17th on NFF suspension. This is China's television broadcasting live from Lagos. I'm Cecilia Morogbe, and you're watching Sports This Morning. First, the headlines. He may still be injured, but Babatunde Michael is the hottest Nigerian on transfer market presently. From the English Premier League to German Bundesliga, Sunderland, Stoke City, all of them, he's a wanted man. And that's what you get when you play with your heart for your country at the biggest stage. Also on the program team, Nigeria may not have had the best of preparations for the Commonwealth Games. For athletes, they are set for medals, especially with the 4 by 400 meters men making the standard. We'll also be talking to all the fans on the show. Vicenzo Nibali reclaims the yellow jersey. But Hair Salam will be joining me for these and more. But first, let's listen to the technical director of Athletics Federation of Nigeria, Omashi. The athletes based in Nigeria are all gathered in Abuja right now in a pre-competition campaign. Um, by Wednesday latest, they should be out of the country to Glasgow. Then we have one more competition that we have entered them into to sharpen their, their, their skills uh, for competition uh, in line with uh, what we are expecting them to do at the Commonwealth Games. So that will be the final assessment of the team before we actually select those for the release because we are entering for the four release and we want to be able to identify the appropriate legs and those that will run them. So that particular competition will give us an opportunity to be able to test that. Um, for the relay, uh, we were, formerly we were not able to get people that will be able to run the, the flat effectively. And that is, we are talking about 45 runners. If we don't have a 45 runner, it doesn't make much sense. But we have now. And because of that, we are more confident to now present the 4x4 men's relay team. So we have reduced the team a little, but not too much. But with the team we have now, it's very compact. And uh, we are sure and we believe that by the grace of God, we should be able to do far better than what we did in Delhi. Well, that's the expectation for all Nigerians. We're expecting that for them, they should be able to do better than what happened in 2018. Of course, it's possible 1994 when Nigeria actually won 37 medals at the Commonwealth Games. We're starting off with athletics this morning because World Cup updates will definitely be coming up later on the show. But Tayo Salam is here with me this morning. Tayo, good morning. Morning, Cecilia. Um, it's always great to be here. And um, I have to say, it's, it's really down on me now. The World Cup is over. over of I go home, 9 o'clock, and nothing came on my TV. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> we're, back, we're back to um, to yeah, we're back to a normal format now, and it's still going to be a great show. There's no doubt. Well, don't worry. At least yeah. qualifiers for the Champions League. Of course, those that could not make it though, straight up to the Champions yeah. League is starting much later. And of course, you still have the Federation Cup in Nigeria here. Of course, it's last system yes. starting on Thursday. Yep. So many things to look forward to. So nothing to be worried about. <laughs> yeah, of really. course. Awesome. So you don't have to wait till August yeah. before the English yeah. Premiership starts. Okay, well, we're starting with athletics this morning. You actually listen to you know, Nisema talking about your preparations and all that. Uh, the home base at least are uh, presently in Abuja. That's yes. where they are camp, you know, no money for them to, most of them to actually, you know, go over there. Those are, but of course, are training very hard. Of course, the ones that have, you know, that were able to make the standard, all of them are camp in Abuja. And the good news is the yeah. 4 by 400 meters men and I enjoy will be participating in all the relay events. Awesome, awesome, awesome for the country. Yeah, but uh, I like to talk about the, the, the preparation angle of it, first of all. Uh, the home base um, um, athletes, okay. yeah, they, they've been uh, in Abuja um, preparing and, and working out. But then they are, uh, it's not, it's not um, good enough to just prepare. It's all about the quality yes. of preparation they're having in Abuja. So I'm hoping it is really a good one that can actually um, um, get them ready uh, for what they will be facing in, in, in Glasgow. Because believe me, it is not the All African Games yes. or, or the African Championship. It's a whole different ball game. The level uh, and the competition will be very high. So hopefully um, they, they've been able to prepare very well uh, and they're ready to make the country proud. Yeah, that's what we 
you're expecting because yeah. if you check the fact that okay, this uh, in the Bahamas, of course, we yeah. had the women actually winning a medal. It was really <laughs> huge. And because when I caught up with Nishima yesterday, first question I asked him, where are the men? You understand? He now said, okay, we have the men right now. They are all ready, and of course, they're prepared. Oh, they really, I think that's yeah. where that's Nigeria's strongest point. Mm -hmm. So when you now have the four by four meters, four by four meters men, yes. you know, making the standard and going for the Commonwealth Games, that means more medals for Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the medals <laughs> part, but then it, it's a good chance. I called it um, some time ago um, that it looks like um, uh, the country is really starting to focus on on what is um, their, their strengths. Yes. I think um, the really is definitely has to be um, the, the major strength of the country now. Forget about the individual um, uh, races, apart from blessing, we really, we really don't have um, somebody there that you can really count on, even though we have some very good um, um, uh, um, athletes well, there as well, like Regina really George and co. But then the relays, I think that would be the main uh, focus, and uh, yeah, that was really underlined um, by the um, signing of, is it called signing of him, or is it? <laughs> yeah, it was signing. the appointment, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, the, the, com Morris, Morris Green comments in the country and helping uh, as Build a relay, the main. I know, think we're actually seeing maybe we're actually seeing some improvement because we're thinking that the men will not make it. Maybe yeah. input from him or an impact from him. Yeah, I guess, help. yeah I guess you could say so. Yeah, so it's a good one. It's looking good so far. Uh, but like I said, um, the competition is a is a is different level entirely. And um, you know our relays are. Uh, you have to get everything has to be sports on. Yes, of course. Sometimes it doesn't really depend on how fast you are, but your button exchange. Yeah, and that's all, a huge one. A whole lot of other technicalities involved. They will have to get right. So we have to get a medal. Yeah, that's, you know, the, that's, that's the perfection because that's what they're talking about. So they need to perfect that. Who's going to start and who's going to end button exchange and all that for all of them to be in synergy. So we don't have, you know, maybe something really not too good. Happening, but it's a huge one for Team Nigeria. Preparations, of course, really, really jarring. But I think that's just where the hope is in athletics as usual. Okay, away from athletics now, move on straight to swimming. Of course, swimming is definitely not part of the Commonwealth Games because some time ago, the uh, National Sports Commission actually said they want to focus the strength on uh, the competition that can bring medals for Nigeria. <laughs> That's what they're saying. But just yesterday, the sixth edition, of course, the press conference for the sixth edition of the Chief of Naval Staff uh, Open Swimming Championship was heard in Lagos. Of course, it's going to be taking place in Wari Delta State for the second time in the row. Last year, it was in Ogara, but this summer is going to be in Wari at the Olympic size uh, swimming pool. And of course, for uh, Babalola Ibedina, and of course, the project coordinator talking about uh, a Jiro Eteromo. They said that the state, of course, they're ready to improve on what happened last year. And of course, they intend to actually, you know, athletes from here, the top performers, uh, top performers will definitely be selected to represent uh, Nigeria at the African Senior Swimming Championship in Senegal, which will begin in September. And of course, for next year, all African Games, that's another one. So some of the swimmers will definitely be picked from here to represent Nigeria. But 34 events, six relays uh, also for this championship. We're going to be having the armed forces, the police, the civil, de the civil defense, universities, uh, students, all of them. It's an open tournament so everyone can actually participate. Let's get to listen to them. We have come to flag off, as it were, the sixth variety of how to ensure that medal wearing capable swimmers from our very large population in our country become a reality. It is in this regard that I pay tribute also to the government of Delta State for finding it very worthwhile to accommodate the Aquatic Federation. The timing device we have and the public address system particularly is somewhat uh, what exists and uh, you think in Emirates where you can uh, Emirates State of Resource in the uh, UK where you shot one that section you can adjust particular section for crowd control and all that. So these are specific uh, things equal to that uh, worry is very central to us in, in Delta states in terms of sports development you know, in that particular area where the stadium is located. So we think the field will give the very best. 